Is going to bring us a wonderful story here mm -hmm. because it is said to be the largest collection of African American books in the state of Missouri. But the collector and owner of Willis Books is ready to retire and close up shop. Yeah, so Julie is joining us right now with this inspiring story of a group of young people coming together to work to keep the store open. Yeah, guys, walking into Willa's books and vinyl, it, it's something that it's, it's hard to explain if you haven't experienced it. It's almost a feeling of nostalgia for a time that you haven't lived through. And it's an urge to learn about those times. And I think it's that feeling that is driving people to help save the store. When you pass by this sign along Troost Avenue, you may not know that behind this door is centuries of history. Hello. Black history told in song and in thousands of pages of books. But this story begins with an ending. Worked for the Postal Service for 31 years. And in 1997, there was a tragedy in my family and I had to retire because I couldn't deal with the grief. In her 60s and drowning in grief, Willa Robinson dug her way out of the pain with books. Something to feel the void that was there. But in the meantime, I was also collecting books about my people. And with all of those books, Willa decided to open a store. My main goal about collecting books and selling books about black people, I, I thought our children need to see themselves in books. And then that one's for my daughter. And she is succeeding. This man right here bought books for his daughter. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Satchel Paige, Maya Angelou, Charlie Parker, the walls are filled with the stories of those who came before us. But Miss Willa is now 83 years old and ready to turn the page. She had an appraiser come by and was prepared to close. That is until Nina Kerr walked through the door. It was a stroke of fate, a twist in this story. I was actually looking for a job at the time. She told me immediately to pull up a chair. Nina realized this place wouldn't be a job, but a passion project. Just ask her how long it took her to realize that. 10 seconds. Um. <laughs> and just as fast, she got to work. I was calling everyone I knew. I was calling my friends who had connections with the city council. Is there any way we can preserve the space? Things like that. Nina, alongside the Kansas City Defenders, decided to make Willa an offer to try and save the store. And Willa accepted. Right now, the store is running on volunteers from the community. You were fully ready to close. Mm -hmm. And a group of young people saved the bookstore. They're saving it because every good book has a happy ending. That is, a, that is the story. I love that story. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now they're still trying to figure out exactly what they're going to do to save the bookstore, but the volunteers are keeping it afloat for the time being. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about this story is they've had no problem saying, having people step up and say, I'm coming in, I'm helping. And how cool is it for, for folks just to be able to go in there and just walk around and see all the books and the records and yeah. everything and just yeah. to be able to touch that history. Willa seems spot. like a wonderful yeah. lady. She is. Turning now